Hello and welcome to my video which is going to go through the HUD options, lens HUD options for the Sony AX53 video camera and if you're like me and you've you've searched and searched for lens HUDs because it doesn't come with one um, you will have found it a bit of a minefield so without further ado let's get on with it right then so this is the AX53 camera, camcorder even, and it comes as this, there is no lens hood. When you turn it on, the BOSS system engages, which is basically the, um, the internal stabilisation, which means that the lens will move around, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it will keep it stable, there you go, you can pretty much see it moving around inside. Now, the great thing about that is it gives you amazingly stable footage all the way through to uh, the 30 times optical zoom at the far end. Um, but the unfortunate thing about that is if you put a lens hood on, so anything that goes on the front, when you move it around, the lens hood will actually, um, it will it will come into frame so you see a bit of darkness in frame now there's a lot of issues with go with that the filter thread is 55 mil now if you search for a lens hood that's 55 mil you'll find potentially one like this now this is made by Nui which is probably a knockoff of Nura or one of the various Hong Kong uh, knockoffs. Um, now this goes on without a step up ring so we literally screw it on. No need to buy any accessories with this one. It doesn't always screw on straight so what you do is you bring it back as much as you can and then with the tightening ring you... well that's already tightened but considering we're not going to leave it on that's fine. So this is 55 mil. You can see how small it is. I mean, it looks dinky. It looks pocketable. It's not really coming out from the sides as much. But when we turn it on, you can see straight away that we've got coverage here. And when we move simply left to right, you can see that even on all the way zoomed back, you are getting the black corners from the side which is really not helpful and the only way to get around that is to zoom quite far in and then you don't get that but then you've also lost a lot of wide angle so if we look at that from there and zoom out we've lost a significant amount of of your wide angle so we're we're, we're quite zoomed in here which is which is never great so that was the first costly mistake so that's one one in the pan so once again that's a 55 millimeter new newnewyi and that comes with a lens cap so if you've got a smaller video camera then it might work but if anything is that no it's yeah it's 55 millimeter with a 50 49 millimeter lens cap because that's even smaller so um so yeah so not great on that one so i recommend not going for it unless you you film stuff that isn't close to your video camera so the next option that i went with is this now i made this this is homemade and this has done me quite well throughout um for about three or four months what it is, is it's a coking filter holder. You can see, I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see the um, filter kind of, let me just see if me. So just here, there's slots for the filters to go in. And I've added some black tape around what would have been the kind of free uh, areas where the light would have got in. And then here you can see this is a 55mm step up ring to fit the, um, 
the filter holder and then the rudimental white tack was to basically keep it in place because when you screw it in, screw it in, sometimes it moves when you've kind of moved it around a bit. Now I've pretty much got it bang on because I've been using it so long but it might need a bit of an adjustment around. So that's basically wide. Now if we have a look at the video camera, you can see, let's zoom in and zoom out again. Sorry, sorry about that, it's my phone. Um, you, can, you can see that we're pretty much covered for zooming all the way out without getting any black spots but when I zoomed across what you can't see is sometimes the edges of the this bit here actually still comes across on the video camera you can just about see it coming in which which basically there you go you can just about see it on the on the edge now that's not a huge amount, but because I do a bit of panning for my work, I've had to cut the, the first part. So I've basically had to crop in on this bit here. And sometimes it's not that bad, but if you need to get the video out really quickly, and which my line of job you do, um, that extra bit of editing can be a little bit annoying. So as I say, I've worked with this setup for about four, five months or so. And it's been a good temporary measure, but it is a temporary measure. And to be fair, when you rock up to a job and you've got white tack all over your lens hood, it's, it's not ideal, to be fair. Now, if we take this off, so we're back to normal thing. Now, I looked on, um, on the internet and tried to find a solution. Now... The solution was, according to YouTube, this. Now this is a Menon lens hood and everyone's saying that the 58mm lens hood uh, is perfect for the AX53 and so I bought it, I got it from AliExpress, uh, it took, a, took about a week to come over, it was a Russian seller but it came from China So um, and I bought a 55mm to 58 millimeter step up ring as you can just about see let's just point that there so 55 milli milli millimeter to 58 millimeter step up ring so if we put that on it's a little it is a bit fiddly to put these on Do it one way or the other. I'm not going to do it all the way because I need to get the other one on as well. Now, this is the 58mm one. Let's move some stuff out of the way. Now, it comes with this bit here, which is basically to get your white balance. We take that off, and already we're looking like a professional hood. This is the kind of thing that you want on the front. That that actually makes it look like a professional camera. So we'll get this put on. And it look it looks wide enough. Let me bring it back a bit. So there we go. So we're let's just have a look properly. That is pretty much bang on. So there we go. That's it from the front. Let's see if we can pick out the camera just about that's what it looks like from the side and it looks now that looks good to me so turn it on but instantly I'm not sure if you can see that but we're getting the we're getting the black edges so there if we look to this corner you can see it coming in and then to that corner there now that was really annoying to me because I basically just spent I don't know, it was about 12 quid, which isn't a lot of money, but it was money that I basically people on the internet have been saying this will this will 
uh, solve your problems of uh, it's made for wide angle lenses blah de blah but I'm zoomed all the way out there let's zoom back in zoom back out and we've got the black edges so if anything my rudimental lens hood was actually better than than this and I already had these pieces I basically went out to buy the black tape but that was it I already had the lens filter so it didn't actually cost me much money um, but this is really annoying because everyone's saying on the internet that a 58mm uh, Menon lens hood is, is the way to go. But quite obviously it's not. So not sure what kind of... Um, once again that's not on properly because I need to get through the, uh, the other um, lens hoods. But yeah, basically the 58mm um, doesn't work. It works if you zoom in like with... That one, that one works if you zoom in, but uh, the 58mm one just basically is not the one that you need to get. Uh, step up ring off the, um, the this one, I, it's, a bit, it's a bit harder than, than originally thought. So now we move on to this lens hood. Now this lens hood is also a men and one, it's just the next size up. The next size up is a 72mm, it's quite a step between 58mm and 72mm. I didn't find any in between sizes, so there must be a reason for that. Now the size difference with that is the, the lens hood is practically the same size as the video camera itself in length. Um, and when you put it against it, it looks it looks huge. Um, however, the wider you go, the less likely you are to get um, the black edges, as I found with this one here. So I thought, well, why not? It cost me a little bit more. It was about £16, also from the same AliExpress um, uh, owner. So uh, I thought, well, why not? Bought it just before Christmas, and it's arrived just after Christmas. So let's put the step up ring on. So this step up ring is a 55 millimeter to 72 millimeter, which is quite a step up to be fair. So you've got this big bit of black around it um, compared to the 55 to 58 millimeter, which is barely noticeable really. So let's put this on first. Let's try and get it as straight as possible. Sometimes they're a bit fiddly. The filter thread for the AX53 isn't huge, so um, it's not very deep. So sometimes it, it doesn't go on properly the first time. But there you go, it went on relatively easy. Make sure the, uh, the tightening ring is far back to the... Um, uh, to the actual lens hood itself, maybe just bring it off a little bit so it's not too stiff and then attach it in. So it's not always going to lie in straight when you tighten it to the... Um, I mean, that's, that's not straight at all, let's try that again. <laughs> so, I think we've got a winner there. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's not lying straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back to here. And then with this, we're going to tighten it. So we're actually tightening this bit here. So we're making it as straight as possible because this won't rotate round again. So even it won't rotate down to this bit here. So we're just... Tightening this bit there. I think I've got that as level as possible. Now, I would usually have a plate here that would go onto my tripod, but I'm showing it without. And you can see here, it's quite a it's quite a huge improvement, if anything. Um, but once again, it looks professional. It looks a lot more professional than this. So we're just going to open it up. And zoom in straight away. We've not got any, we've got a little bit of a, on the bottom, let's have a quick look. 
There is a tiny bit, to be fair. Maybe that's just the way I've got it on. So that that's it. So it's just the way I had it on, a slightly angled. So you just got to make sure that it's um, straight. So that zoomed all the way out and zoom all the way in. Well, not all the way in. All the way in is far, far away. Zoom all the way out. And there you go. So it's taken lots of buying, lots of experimenting. But now we have a workable hood. So it's the Menon. I don't get... I don't get sponsored by Mennonite, I have to buy these. I don't get sponsored by the AliExpress store either. Um, I usually buy stuff from uh, like Hong Kong companies or eBay. But I actually found that buying from the AliExpress dealer was um, a lot cheaper than eBay. And I couldn't find them from the usual places like Banggood or um, Deal Extreme or places like that. Um, so yeah, so the 72mm works, the 58mm that everyone says does does work, doesn't work. Um, next best thing would be a coking or similar square filter and get a 55mm uh, attachment to it. It would, should come with the, uh, the filter uh, holder, if not just get the... Um, the the thread attachments and then it should come in the set and then basically just add tape around and uh, a bit of white tack just to hold it in place when you when you screw it on but I hope this has helped um, and I hope this has saved you money from buying a lot of lens hoods that you really don't need uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye